I am Carla Jackson Bell, Interim Provost and former Dean of the School of Architecture and Construction Science at Tuskegee University. I first read about Dr. Katherine Anthony in 2001 when I was an assistant professor of architecture. Kathy graciously agreed to serve on my doctoral committee and for the past 18 years has inspired my research and has served as a catalyst for change in architecture education for students of color in schools of architecture and design across the country. Kathy and I presented at the Norma Scoleric Redefined Public Conference organized by Princeton University School of Architecture in March of 2019. We discussed the possibility of developing a short film on Norma Scoleric, the first African-American woman to pass the licensing exam in both New York and California. Kathy's work as an educator has inspired many to teach courses to call attention to the work of both women architects and architects of color. Her research introduces students to an aspect of architecture that has been overlooked. Kathy is a lifelong friend who has supported me, shared her beautiful father and mother with me, listened to me, and encouraged me throughout my academic career. Thank you, Kathy, for opening my eyes to culturally relevant teaching approaches and to the development of diverse topics in architecture education. Congratulations, Kathy, for receiving the 2020 Chicago Women in Architecture Lifetime Achievement Award. I am forever indebted to Catherine in that she created a space at the U of I when she was likely going through a lot of challenges herself as the first female architecture profession professor that made us all feel welcome there. All of us that didn't typically feel like we belonged. And I don't know that I ever would have made it through the program and on to achieve my dreams as I have today. This is really what I admire most about Catherine Anthony's work, her support and dedication to people whose voices are often not heard. Over the years, she has been a great cheerleader and champion for my career. And yet, at the same time, her brood of mentees and former mentees has grown exponentially. Catherine Anthony's uh, contribution to the evolution of our profession has been profound, and it's been an honor to know her. Having someone who understands the value of our work was a huge encouragement, not only to promote diversity in the group of future architects, but also to help us create our work for diversity. And I've known Professor Anthony since I took her class in 1996. Professor Anthony's continued interest in our lives and careers has been important to me as a former student. Also, her area of study has proven to be more timely and more important as ever. She demands acknowledgement of the accomplishments, thereby encouraging us to succeed. The simple act of acknowledgement provides us a renewed and reimagined sense of pride in the field of architecture. Congratulations, Professor Anthony. I met Catherine Anthony back in 2012 when I was at the initial pursuit of my master's in architecture and master's of civil engineering at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. She was teaching a few courses and I had interest in a few of them, and, but my favorite one or the most impactful one I remember was her race and gender study course. I remember she invited Jason Pugh and Brian Hudson to come in and discuss their experience as black men within the field of architecture. And they also talked about their affiliation and the benefits of NOMA, the National Organization of Minority Architects. Hi, my name is Antonis Spiemann and I'm an architecture student at the Technical University of Munich in Germany. And her seminar has really opened my eyes to the, to the vast breadth of the field of architecture and sparked lots and lots of new thoughts and interests. Catherine was a great proponent at, uh, an advocate at letting people see how much more we needed in this field. I was completely moved by her dedication to changing the world 
for better in regards to women, minorities, and LGBT folks. Being a member of a minority and an LGBT community, I connected with her instantly. She's a true mentor, and um, we, our world is in sore need of more people like that in any domain, in any stage of life, in any field, to take a chance on others. I know students love her uh, because she's a good teacher and has a very amiable and uh, charming personality. I want to congratulate Kathy for this uh, special award that she got, a Lifetime Achievement Award. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Professor Anthony for the help and support that she had extended throughout my time as a student on the campus. Congratulations on this great achievement. For all of my time at Illinois, Kathy served as a mentor for me in numerous ways. Kathy is a great community builder, so the most significant thing that Kathy did was to connect me with other scholars. This included a monthly dinner with female faculty in our college at a Chinese restaurant, events at conferences such as ACSA and EDRA, and events uh, at um, CWA. She has done such a great work and I think she was one of the reasons for me to join University of Illinois. Um, I look for her back in India and I look for her work and she had her own Wikipedia page with all her researches out there and I had to see her in person and see how how she does it and it was pretty inspiring. I attended her course as well, Cinema and Architecture, that I never thought can be a course but she made it so much fun and I had a great, great time with her. Meeting Kathy, she introduced me to the entire environment behavior research field which became the focus of my graduate work. Um, I got to provide assistance with Designing for Diversity, her, one of her books, and she introduced me to the professional community that led to my first job and my second job and the job I have now. So I, I don't know where I would be if I hadn't met Kathy, but I know I wouldn't be here. And it was because of her that I was able to represent my work um, at a national level conference and um, now it's been two years since I've been in the field of architecture and I've been working and her teachings and her research are so much reflective of the work that I'm doing now. And Kathy has continued to support me throughout my career by inviting me back uh, as a guest lecturer in her classes to share my experiences in architecture and as a woman in the profession. After coming to America and coming across many social and cultural challenges and being overwhelmed with the assignments for study work and other courses, her course and assignments, particularly the residential autobiography, helped me to get reconnected to myself, my background, and the influence of how says we live and their environment in our upbringing and shaping our personality. And I just want to thank Kathy, thank you for the impact that you have had on my design journey and for continuing to uplift women in architecture and design. Congratulations. I took her classes uh, and immediately uh, was influenced and impressed by uh, what she taught her uh, and a very inclusive style of teaching that puts international students uh, such as myself uh, at ease. As an international student and a woman in the construction industry, her courses, specifically gender and race in design and entrepreneurship in design, have had immense impact on me. Kathy was a role model for me, showing me that there is a place for specialists who combine social science research and design and a career path in academics and in professional practice. And she's played an absolutely essential role in mentoring graduate students who are part of the WGGP program, serving on the executive committee to shape the direction of WGGP, and being an overall inspiration to all the members of the WGGP community. She taught a class on environmental psychology. And in that class, she presented a series of tools and an awareness that helped the students question, explore, 
understand and determine what made for successful urban environments. That body of knowledge was critical as it accompanied me to the Harvard University Graduate School of Design. By way of her teaching, research, and publications, I have been profoundly influenced by Professor Anthony's methods of looking at how different aspects of the built environment work or don't work for people of different ages, cultures, race, races, genders, or abilities. Catherine Anthony is an amazing professor. She's extremely passionate about what she does and makes it so easy for you to be passionate about the work that she's passionate about. Catherine Anthony believed in me at times when I didn't believe in myself and she was a great resource for me. She was an amazing teacher. Uh, she was actually the first teacher and all the time I was there at the University of Illinois, she was the first teacher to ever teach me about black architects in practice and the history of black architecture. I have long admired Kathy's work to promote diversity professionally as well as personally. You can see more about that particular project in her book, Defined by Design, and even a picture of her speaking at commencement on campus. She was the first one to really let us talk about what it meant to be in this profession as someone who's underrepresented, but also had connections to the professional world, especially in Chicago and through Chicago Women in Architecture, to have us as students meet professionals, engage with them, and have that interaction that we didn't get with any other part of our education. Her dedication to the profession has profoundly touched our fellow students. She was the first of my several mentors that have helped shape my career. When I first chose an offbeat topic for my thesis, architecture and film, she provided invaluable feedback. She guided me with enthusiasm the whole time and a subtle hand. Professor Anthony has developed a program at UIUC which further studies the relationship between architecture and film a class of which I've been a part of for several years now. It's been a long and mutually inspired collaboration. Professor Anthony played a huge part in shaping the architect that I am today. Before, I often felt like my designs were not giving justice to the complex human aspect that was tied to each project. But Professor Anthony really taught me how to put the people using the building um, in the center of the design by providing me with valuable research methods um, and showing by example and through examples how to be as sensitive as possible when it comes to cultural, emotional and also environmental aspects um, of the project surroundings and its uses. My husband and I got married in 2018. Um, she flew all across the ocean just to be with us on our special day. And I really don't know of many professors who would do something like this for one of their students. Today we hear so much about the urgent need for our society to be woke to the needs of the underrepresented, those whose talents, gifts, and voices are urgently needed to make our society better. While much of the nation is becoming woke, Catherine has been woke her entire career. She has inspired her students to do the same, creating better built environments and thus a better world, one community at a time. Professor Anthony introduced me to CWA and encouraged me to apply for the scholarship. Winning the scholarship not only helped me financially complete my master's, but also gave me numerous contacts and connections that helped at the beginning of my career in the city. Her unique perspective in architecture regarding age, gender, and race indeed influenced my current research, which is developing robotic smart home solutions for the elderly people to live independently and healthily. I would like to congratulate Professor Anthony on her lifetime achievement. Her work over the past decades really made a difference in the world of design. Thank you, Professor Anthony, for everything you did. I've always been impressed by her perseverance and her grace. She's someone who sets her eyes on an objective and follows it through, no matter what the obstacles are. Kathy, congratulations on this well-deserved award.